one of the best man which I've been at. You just started. Oh my God. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Let's give the Lord another big round of applause. And I honor you deserve it. Give honor to God today who was ahead of my life. all of the prognosticators of the gospel that have gathered themselves together in this house today to spread love. Amen. Yes. Amen. To share with my friends, amen. Dr. Reverend Vivian Wright, Cooking Vivian Wright, mm. for all of the labor, amen, that they have expelled during 30 years. I bless each and every one of you, to all of you, the people of God. Yes. Amen. To our worship leader, Reverend Dwyer. Yes. Amen. yes. To my helpmate, my wife. Yes. First lady, Mr. Santrice Bright. Yes. Amen. Amen. Someone that I love dear. Amen. As the years go by, my love grows deeper. I'm honored to God to be here on today. Will you pray with me? Lord, we thank you, God, and you will glorify you. Thank you, God. We pray that you have your way now. Lord, have your way. Speak, Lord. And Lord, just in case there's someone here that does not know you in the pardon of their sin, they would cry, I yield, I give my life to Jesus. Now, Lord, I pray for articulation of speech, and memory retention, and the anointing that breaks the yoke. Pray that your will be done. In Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I'm honored to be here. Amen. I'm following a line of heavy hitters. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for my friend Reverend Dr. Clifford Wright and his wife because they've always amen, brought great male men and women to Hope Church to deliver the message. I heard, I heard uh, Pastor Wilson the other night and the Lord used him mightily. Amen. 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 Yes. Yeah, I like that. I like that part about the the root that goes find the water. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for the water to come to you. Yes. Yeah, I was listening. <laughs> Amen. And, and Pastor Armstrong went to town last night. Yes. The Lord used him mightily. Yes. Amen. I have yet to listen to my friend. Pastor Wright, but Wilson Wright, amen, and Armstrong, amen, have done a tremendous job, I'm sure, because the Holy Spirit leads all of them. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Grateful. Our text today, it comes from Mark, chapter 7, verse 37. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, he has done all things well. Come on. He makes both the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. And so, just for a simple thought, I want to talk about all things well. Mm. All praise is honor and glory to our God. And I would like to begin, amen, with giving God much praise for the things he has done. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, I look back 30 years ago to the very first time you walked through the doors, amen, of the House of Prayer and Evangelism to this very present moment, I know that you're grateful. Only in Christ could you have come this far with Hope Church. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, it was Jesus. Uh, the song goes.
told it was Jesus down in my soul. Yes. For I have touched God Almighty, the hem of his garment. Yes. And he had made me whole. Yes. Preaching the whole counsel of God has brought us to a higher level of, of living the Christian life as well as providing an elevated quality of life. Like Jesus addressing the Syrophoenician woman, you have caused the people to push the envelope when it comes to their faith being tested. Hope has been blessed to have you as their pastor for all these years and, and looking forward, they are excited knowing that the Lord will be taking them to even higher heights in you. Amen. God has answered your prayers, Dr. Wright, First Lady Wright. God has answered your prayers, first of all, because you place total dependence in him. Amen. He has answered your prayer because you have prayed his word and will Amen. to be done in the life of the church. Amen. I said you prayed his word and his will be done. Yeah. In the life of the church, yeah, yeah. you have praised yeah. and worshipped mm -hmm. him to his satisfaction and beyond. All right. Now, I know that you praise and worship the Lord all the time, and you're married to a great praiser and worshiper. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. I believe that our God is pleased, amen, with, the, with and accepts the fact that you love him, realizing that he first loved you. Yeah. Realizing, amen, that we are still a work in progress. Yes. And yet we can thank him for the progress we have made because of him. Amen. There was a hunger still present in this August body of believers that desires more bread from heaven. Yeah. I'm sure that your prayer to God has been and shall remain the same. Lord, let your will be done here at Hope Church individually and collectively. Amen. I would like to acknowledge you, your wife, Reverend Vivian Wright and family for the exemplified faith and obedience displayed down through the years. You and Reverend Vivian have been stellar in partnership and anointed by God to serve together. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. As I refer to you, Dr. Clifford Wright, I include Reverend Vivian Wright. Hope Church has been a beacon, yes, a true guiding light with warning signals all along the way. You have made an indelible mark in the Christian community that surrounds you, and even to those, amen, that transcend the borders of New Jersey. All right. Yes, yes. It has been an honor to serve with you, my friend, and to be a part of this highly anointed and God-appointed body of believers. Your determination to forge forward during those very difficult days, during those very hard days, during those very trying days, your determination to forge forward. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> Those difficult days in ministry serve, amen, as an awesome template for continued success in Christ. Amen. amen. Anyone observing must have been touched deeply and blessed to know, amen, that if you could weather those storms, so can I. Amen. amen. That's right. Admiration, <coughs> inspiration, yes. duplication. Stop. Yes, Come on, sir. somebody. You better preach it, sir. Admiration, inspiration, duplication was birthed in the hearts of those that observed. Yeah. Yeah. When others told you to quit, you paid them no mind. I got to keep myself together here, man. Because I know. Yes, sir. When they told you to quit, you paid them no mind. You, you listened with a trained ear. Yes. 
to hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. Now the Lord did say, my sheep know my voice. Yes, sir. You, you heard the still, small voice that spoke in your spirit and said, stay on the wall. And stay on the wall, you did. As you stayed on the wall simultaneously, the spiritual health of the believers was restored. Yes. Fortifying and encouraging them to press on in church and in life. Yes. Yes. You, my friend, have served the Lord well. Amen. Amen. As you both celebrate 30 years of pastoral leadership, join me in celebrating Jesus for giving us all this great opportunity to worship and praise our God together. Yes. Oh, I'm just going to ask you a few more questions here. I want to ask you a couple of questions that I'm leaving here, man. How do you comfortably leave a church after serving 30 years? How do you retire and move away from the place of assignment ordained by God? How do you dismount the pulpit and walk away in peace? I'll tell you how. It is when you know that you have preached and taught the whole counsel of God. That's right. When you know that you have preached and taught the whole counsel of God. In his farewell speech to the elders of the Ephesian church, Paul says, Therefore, I testify to you this day, I am innocent of the blood of all, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. I did not shrink. I did not shrink. Declaring the whole counsel of God is what made Paul innocent Amen. of anyone's choice to turn away from the truth. Yeah. Paul had fulfilled his ministry among the Ephesians. Paul emphasized the whole counsel of God as a way to affirm the completion of his duties towards the Ephesians right. and to remind them of the truth. All right. Amen. That was his affirmation. Yes. The whole counsel of God includes some things that are difficult to hear. Right. The fact that we are dead in sin and deserving of God's wrath. Right. And the fact that we cannot save ourselves through works. Yeah. The gospel is a call to repentance and faith. Yeah. Yeah. God Almighty. The gospel you preached. It is, hallelujah, a call to repentance and faith. And there will be times when we will face persecution and likely be considered foolish. But none of these things can dissuade us. Amen. Been through it. Been there. And done that. Like the old folks say, you can't make me down here. Because I know too much about it. Good God Almighty, you can't make me down here. When my back was against the wall, wasn't nobody there but you, Lord. When I cried in the midnight hour, Father God, ah, good God Almighty, you came down and you dried my tears, Lord. Father God, when I didn't know which way to go, Father God, you became my spiritual GPS system. You're the one who showed me where to go. You're the one who told me to turn left and don't go back. You're the one who told me to stop now and not go. Lord! when I was sick. You became my doctor. You were my healer. When the enemy tried to mess with my mind, and Lord, psychologically, you became, Father God, all that I needed. You became my spiritual mind regulator. You put everything back in place, Lord. Lord, I started to think right all over again, Father God. Father God, I'm going to thank you right now for, hallelujah, partnering with me, or, or excuse me, Lord, allowing me to partner with you, Lord. Yeah. My friend, Lord. Yes. My friend. Yes, sir. Parenthetically speaking, we as pastors should leave no stone unturned to make sure that we all follow Paul's example and also preach the whole counsel of God. Yes. A powerful witness 
that is the construct of Hope Church. Yeah. And that is what Jesus intends the church to be. Amen. The powerful witness shows the world what transformed lives look like. Amen. A powerful witness shows, amen, hallelujah, the world what transformed lives look like. Not perfect lives, mind you. But lives testifying, amen, to what is possible when Jesus is at the center of yes. your life. Yes, sir. Lord, have mercy. All scripture, with God Almighty, is inspired. All scripture and all of, all of it is profitable. We must preach it in its entirety and allow the Holy Spirit to use his sword as he sees fit. He'll do the cutting. He'll do the healing. He'll do the mending. He'll do the separating. All we have to do is preach his word. All we got to do is deliver the mail. All we got to do is say what the Lord told me to say. Like I'm doing now. What he told me to say to you, man. Paul did not share half truths or only parts of the gospel. Rather, he shared all of what God had revealed to him. Yes. Reverend Dr. Clifford Wright, you have done all that the Lord has called you to do, man. Amen. You have declared the whole counsel of God. Not, not only have you done that, you have passed the baton on to those that know that they must do the same thing. Yes. That's, that's how, that's how you can leave hope yeah. after laboring 30 years. That's how you move away from your place of assignment comfortably. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how you dismount the pulpit you have stood for 30 years in. You leave it in peace. You're back on 95, oh. driving in peace. Right. Yes, sir. Headed back to South Carolina. Yes, sir. Ooh. <laughs> Amen. Driving comfortably. You have told them that the wages of sin is death, uh -huh. but the gift of God is everlasting life. Yes. You, you have told them that for God so loved the world, yes. that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. You have told them that you must be born again. Yes. You have told them that Jesus is the son that God gave us all. Yes. And how he came, lived, suffered, amen, was crucified, Buried in a barn tomb, good God Almighty, we all know the Baptist song. And three days later, he got up, good God Almighty, with all power in his hand. You done told him all about Jesus. You made it plain for all to see that Jesus is the king of all kings. And by his grace, we can boldly ask for blessings that accord with his will and bring glory to his name. And then you told them, amen, that when they ministered, to others concerning Jesus. To do it in a way that they just see Jesus. Yes. Now, Reverend Doctor, that's how you can leave. Because the one who does all things well has blessed you to do all things well. Amen. Amen. Those that were deaf and mute now know his voice and praise his name. Yes. When they came, they couldn't hear nothing about Jesus. All right. All right. When they came, they couldn't say nothing about Jesus. Right. But they said a little while. Yes. Yes. God Almighty, and they heard the whole council. Yes. Yes. God Almighty, and after a while, amen, uh, their ears became trained too. Yes. And when their ears became trained, they could hear that same still small voice that you heard, yes. now that they can hear it. And, and when they heard it, they were astonished by it and excited by it because they never thought the enemy had blinded them, oh. told them that you'll never be nobody. Yes. You can't never go nowhere in life. But when they heard the whole counsel of God, yes. 
And when they realized, amen, that their hands really did look new, they started shouting and saying, God, right. oh, thank you right now. They were dumb. They were new. But after a while, they started calling on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Because of your word, Lord, I was blind. But now, but now I see. No, I couldn't see it before. Somebody said, I couldn't see it before. I couldn't see all that old praising and jumping up and down. I couldn't see that. I couldn't see nobody talking about God is good. I couldn't see all that. But 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 as I sat there, as I sat there, and as I heard the gospel being preached, and as I heard, amen. This dynamo of a preacher. Yes, sir. Oh, the Holy Ghost to use him. Good God Almighty, I realize that man still begin to fall from my eyes. Then I was able to see a little bit. I, I saw a little bit on Sunday. Next Sunday came, I saw a little bit more. Still begin to fall from my eyes. I was blind. I was blind. I was blind. But now I see. of a crowd, I can hear your still small voice calling my name. Hallelujah. I never thought God would call my name. I never thought I was worthy to have my name called, let alone by God. Wasn't nobody calling me before. Folks didn't want to help me out. I didn't have no money in my pocket, amen. I had nowhere to turn, and all of a sudden, he called me by my name. Under the whole cost. Yeah. Amen. Under a man who refused to shrink back. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I was mute. Amen. Couldn't say a word. Amen. Concerning you, Lord, but now I give you praise. Yeah. Oh, yes, magnify the Lord with me. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Yes. Is there anybody in this house that used to be blind? Yes, sir. Said, is there anybody yes, in this house yes, sir. that used to be blind? Yes, sir. Don't fool me now. Is there anybody in this house that yes, used sir. to be blind? Yes, sir. You can go back and you couldn't see what you see now. Is there anybody in this house that used to be deaf? Is there anybody in this house that used to be deaf? Is there anybody in this house that used to be mute? My brother, you are. Transition 
We honor you, sir, in this moment as you come, and we thank you for your honor. Christian discipleship, not membership, but discipleship. It's a difference, right? Yes, yes, yes. Discipleship, yes, not membership. I think somebody shared that with you earlier in your your, your preaching career. So if there is one here today and you, you don't know Christ as your Savior, and I'm talking to the staff too, because Amen. that word was for you as Amen. well. You, you may have thought this was just another Amen. Event. You may have thought we were just coming to celebrate these honorees, which we are. But we came to share the goodness, the grace, and the mercy of Jesus, who is the Christ. So if you're not saved, now is the chance for you to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Admit that you're a sinner. Admit that you can't do this thing without him. And invite him into your heart to declare that he will be the Lord and leader of your life. If you're here today, you're a guest, you're sinning, you don't know Christ. Again, now is your chance. Now is your opportunity to repent and believe by faith alone, in Christ alone, that he is God. Is there one? Would there be one? Amen. We see there are number, there's always room at the cross. Amen? Amen. Amen. I know y'all hungry, I'm hungry too, so I'm gonna just say it real quick. You know, I ain't gonna get the Baptist prayer, you know, like the Thanksgiving prayer that everybody take 30 years to, you know, go over and over and over again. We're just going to say this quick blessing over the food, and then we're going to go ahead and have our dinner and celebration and fellowship. Just a quick instruction. Our honorees will be served first, and then we'll start from the front and move our way back. Amen. It is self-served. I, uh, I just want to say that uh, my wife and I, we love and respect your and wife. Amen. And I was not going to be too with all the I'm not used to saying Pastor Tay. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Jay, God bless you, man. And I uh, hope we can work together in the future. Amen. I acknowledge you today. I'm not leaving out this place without acknowledging you, your wife, amen, and the church that's under you now. Amen. You remain in our prayers and we love you. Amen. 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 good to have folks to connect with and lean on when you start something like this, right? And I'm grateful and thankful. So let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for this day, time, and opportunity that you've got, given us to gather in this fashion. We thank you, Father, for uh, this celebration. We thank you for these two honorees, God. We thank you for this place that you've uh, set aside for us to come and to worship you, to honor you, and glorify you. God, we thank you for the gifts that have been prepared for the nourishment of our bodies. May you bless them now. God, bless our time of fellowship, friendship, and laughter, God. May we just experience you in this moment, God. You get all the praise, honor, and glory because you and you alone are worthy of it. Yes. It's in the name of Jesus, who is truly and certainly the Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah.